Look at that. These fans are mental. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time again. Ireland, here we come. Come on. Good morning. We have landed in a lovely sunny Dundalk. And today, we are over here for a very special occasion. An occasion that I have been desperate to get to for years now. This is a Louth Derby. This is Dundalk vs Strahida and this is going to be pyro crazy. If you've not seen anything from this derby before, you are in for a treat tonight. However, you know how we do when we go to new places, I am going to go and get a wee taste of the food and maybe a wee drink in the pub. It's Ireland after all, you need to go and get a wee drink, don't you? Let's go. Right, shout out to Jack McArdle who has suggested my Brady's. This better be good, Jack. That's my tea. <laughs> I'm waiting on my breakfast. That's just the toast and the bread. Oh, would you look at that. What a beautiful place for a breakfast in the morning. Wow. I'll tell you something, nobody feeds like the Irish do. Once again, that was absolutely phenomenal. My clock boys, I'm so, so sorry. However, I think I've just had the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. That was absolutely Unbelievable. The white pudding, it was like a sausage. It wasn't like, sometimes you get a white pudding, it's like oats. It was like a sausage type. Wow. If you're ever in the dock, get yourselves over to my Brady's. Beautiful. Right, it is only 11 o'clock in the morning. So, let's get the rest of the day. Why don't we go and have a look around and see what the dock's got to offer. Come on. If you look around, some of these murals are just amazing. However, look at this. Can I get away from Scotland? Rabbi Burns. What a guy. Thank you to the lovely wee woman in the Irish gift shop. She has just told me that not too long ago, that man right there, Joe Biden, was here. Look at that mural. If you know your American history and your Irish history, you'll know that there is a massive connection between the two countries. Ireland had a lot of immigrants going over to America. As you can see here, the hard workers, they had to leave and they moved over to America during the troubles, during the famine, etc. You've got Joe Biden here who came not so long ago to reconnect that connection between both countries. This mural is absolutely amazing and so symbolic of two of the world's most powerful countries reconnecting again. That man just there, Apparently, was along this street, making the connections. When you think about it, it's actually crazy. That man right there, the man that's in charge of the world's most powerful country, was along this street not too long ago, shaking hands and speaking to people. So the big man has just given me a great insight. So we're going to review a pint and food everywhere we go on our travels this year. So the guy just served me there has told me harp is originally from just up there in Dundalk. Harp Irish Lager, originally brewed in Dundalk. Look at that. We'll be giving it a taste test just in a second. Right, I'm on my holidays again. <laughs> Harp, let's give it a try. That's nice. Yeah, that I find it a crisper than I consider it's a curve on. I'm going to go with a 8.7 out of 10. That is nice. Cheers, Dundalk. I tell you, I've had worse places to edit. Look at this. Quick question. Can any of you guess whereabouts that is? Next video coming up after this. Stay tuned. 
Nothing beats an Irish pub on a Friday afternoon. So calm and peaceful. Nice wee pint. You've got to sit and watch the Ryder Cup there. It was brilliant. However, we are not here for the Ryder Cup or the pub. We are here for the madness that is Irish football. You have seen the mental side of Irish football in the last couple of weeks. And tonight, it's not going to get any less. Tonight, we are here for the Louth Derby. Dundalk, a town right next to a town called Drogheda. Tonight, they face off for the final game of the season. And it's all on the line. The bragging rights between both of these teams are massive. Displays at every single game. Big pyro displays. This is a unique derby. And this is one of the best I've ever seen. I think it's safe to say Dundalk fans and Drogheda fans are absolutely mental. They don't care and wait till you see what we're going to see tonight. Situated just one position behind Dundalk are Drogheda, tonight's visitors. This is all on the line. If Drogheda can get a result tonight, they may be able to overtake Dundalk and get the bragging rights for the end of the season. Both teams are out of the equation for Europe, etc. However, it's so much more than Europe tonight. It's all about bragging rights. If Dundalk won, well, Dundalk will be the better of the two teams this season. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you know how big this derby is for both towns. Oh, and if this derby wasn't special enough, well, tonight is the 175th meeting between this pair. And if that wasn't enough again, this week is the 120th anniversary of Dundalk Football Club. Started off from the Northern Railway Group. A group of railway workers wanted to start a football team. They formed a football club. 120 years on, that football club are one of Ireland's biggest clubs and they're playing in the Live Derby tonight. Let's go. I tell you, there's no better feeling than the sighting of a new stadium. And what is that there? That is the floodlights. Oh, ho, ho. Come on, I'm so excited to see this. Pitchside access, a big massive thank you to Dundalk for sorting me out. This is an experience like no other. You're going to see something that you've not seen at all. I'm hearing it's a certain person's birthday today. Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday, big man. Are you going to get a Derby victory today for your birthday? I'm going to ask you first, what's the score going to be? 3-2 What's the score going to be? 3-0 Dundalk, come on, it's me! 2-0 Dundalk, come on, it's me! 1-0 Dundalk. Love the ginger. Love it. <laughs> Three one good door. Three one good door. Come on, the time. More of you are waiting on the video. What's the score going to be? Three nil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three nil. Four one. Confident, very confident. The heavens have opened. <laughs> Just on the day that I get pitched. Look at this beautiful island. This time we've got Drogheda fans. Guys, biggest game of the season. Question is, who's going to come out on top in the Louth Derby? Yeah, confident. What's the score going to be? Final question. We're going to see madness tonight again. We know the fans. Whose fans are better? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. What's the story, buddy? How are we doing? Right, guys. If you don't know this face, you know the sound. This man right here, introduce yourself. It's Dave Caradini from the Telcast podcast with Bill Gain and Jack McGardle. Jack somewhere over there being a fucking fanny. <laughs> You've been asking me to come to this derby. Yeah. This is a derby that I think is probably the most underrated in Ireland. It's crazy. Yeah. Both sets of fans. Explain, explain this derby to the people that don't know the fans. Well, it's the only real derby in Ireland because it's the wee county derby, Loud is the smallest county in the country. So it's right on dark, two very big towns for a small county, and there's no other derby in the county. Yeah. So we come and you've got packs, you've got UCB and shells and all this kind of stuff. We don't get that here, it's just right on dark. Yeah. And that's, it's unbelievable, you'll see an incredible atmosphere, the way in, it's sold out. 
I've been coming here for 15 years, I've never seen that, so it's a special time tonight. You can hear it from both sets of fans, this is more than just an ordinary game, this is all on the line. The bragging rights I love is on the line tonight. Who will come out on top? Will it be Dundalk? Or will it be Drogheda? You were already on it, you've done your score prediction. What's your score prediction? If you get the pyro out tonight with that, <laughs> you get the pyro out tonight. <laughs> the atmosphere on here is building. The ultras are out. It's time. This is a love derby. This is Dundalk versus Drogheda. And this is one you cannot miss. Look at this! Pyro everywhere! Wow! This is a pyro show of its own. Where else do you get this? This is Irish football and this is Dundalk versus Drogheda. Wow! Look at that! Hundred and twenty years, look at that! These fans are mental! Look at the smoke! Where else do you see this? Look at all that smoke! Pyro show galore! Madness! Absolute madness! Look at this! Pyro still going. Absolute madness. We are ready. One of the craziest pyro shows I've ever seen. Wow. We are off. These guys are still going. Look at this. Incredible. I've never seen anything like that in my life. This is a derby you need to get to. Both sets of fans are crazy. And guess what? Guess where we're going just now? We're going to the fans. Let's get round. Where else do you see this? Look at this. Craziness over here. They're just another level. Another level. Who's going to win? Love it. What's the score going to be? Whose fans are better? Whose fans are better? Dundalk. Love it, boys. Okay, you can choose one. What can I have? An egg. Okay. What's the score going to be? Um, three nil. Three nil. Yeah. Three nil. Three nil. As I'm eating my egg, I'm just looking around. This is five minutes into the game. Look at the smoke. This is just another level. Where else do you see this? Mental fans over here. Mental. Hey. Who's winning tonight, boys? Dundalk! Love that. <laughs> I still won. Ten minutes into the game. Guess where we're going? Yes, boys, we're going to make the atmosphere. It's going to be mayhem in there. I can see it already, look. Right, enough of this. Let's get in there, as I promised. Game's still not able to go ahead. More missiles getting thrown, look. Match is going to get abandoned, the announcement says, if they keep doing it. Another pyro's off. 
They are nuts, nuts. I've never seen it like this before. Half time here, and it's currently one each. What a half it's been! You've seen the madness already. If that's it to go by, this second half, it's going to be a bit wild. Need I say no more? Let's go for the second half. Are you ready? Go! Oh. Oh 
Push off the bar. Push off the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you just seen that for yourself. You can still hear fans shouting in the background. My voice is gone, my energy's gone. That has to be one of the craziest derbies, craziest games I've ever experienced. So kicking off here at the end. The away fans have getting at the home end. Same as last week. Just craziness, craziness. Just madness. Irish football's just unrivaled. You can hear it. Look. Look at this. Security all getting called in. It's just all kicking off here now. Not a good sight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not already, click that subscription button. It's free. It's the only thing I'm asking you to do and it helps me out so much. I'm heading back to Edinburgh right now. No sleep and we're going to be going to Spartans tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you and I will see you in the next one.